Yo, it's your boy Tom Nook. It is March 25th, 2020. Now for today's news, as of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers. Yes! I'm an owl. Blathers has a keen interest in biology past and present and he's here to study Exuma. I sincerely hope everybody lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. Oh, I'm so inquisitive. And that's all from me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Exuma living. So, some information about the sales of Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, and according to some sources, this is already the fastest selling Nintendo Switch game to date, which is mind-boggling, like over Pokemon, Sword and Shield. It's probably half due to the social isolation, but this is like crazy news. Wait, who's talking to me? Yeah, what you want, Charlize? What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. Uh, yeah. You have some Iron Nuggets for me? Because I sure do need them. No- nothing? Charlize, why did you stop me for nothing? <laughs> Someone's feeling shady. Yeah, I want some freaking iron nuggets. Congrats on the house. Looks like Tom Nook really pulled through for ya. So what's it like inside? You better invite me over soon. Uh, only if you give me some iron nuggets. I got the bladders home. I'm sure he is. Oh cool, he has like a little petri dish. <laughs> he looks so good in HD. Oh my god. I need a bladders plushie. ASAP. Who? Oh, my pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Toucans? The personage who chose the location for this tent? Show sure enough. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled fle feather. Now regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in. What what? <laughs> what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too, who? As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Who? Silly you! I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entire deserted island. Pardon me, Toucans, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Is he gonna teach me how to make a pole? If so, I'm gonna become a pole dancer. <laughs> I have my real life aspiration. Uh, with wood gathered, you can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. <laughs> I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, toucans, cross the river and seek out the ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on for far too long. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must require more items to exhibit. Fifty more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. He does blather for a really long time, doesn't he? Can I interact with any of his stuff? Can I read his notes? Can I put on his hat? We have very similar hats. Mine's just like a lighter color. But yeah, so in previous Animal Crossing games, there was four types of exhibits. There was fish, insects, fossils, and there was also art. But it looks like they might have possibly axed the art exhibit, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so I want to check on the trees that we planted last episode. They're probably not grown yet. Oh yeah, they're little saplings. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> you can still shake it too. Um, I really hope we get an inventory upgrade today. Ooh, okay, that bug escaped. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do before going and pole vaulting over the river is I'm gonna go ahead and hit some rocks and try to get enough resources to upgrade Nook's shop. Like I tried to do last episode, but we just did not have enough rocks to work with. But if we hit all the rocks that we have available to us, including the ones on the other side of the river this episode, we should definitely have enough resources to do it. Okay. Kinda have to be careful when doing this as well, because you might slide over a little bit to the side, which if that happens, Oh no, I think I should have plucked this weed. I don't know if it's able to overlap. Oh, whatever. There's another one over here. 
And got it. Haha. <laughs> Blathers is gonna be so proud of me. Yes! I caught a citrus longhorned beetle. Aren't you happy for me? Alright, we're gonna sell the camping cot. Sayonara. And we don't have that much to sell. I should go give all the bugs I have in my inventory to Blathers. Along with all the fish and stuff around my house that I have set down as well. Well, 3,000 bells. That's not bad. The fruit's worth quite a bit. I'm happy. And do we have the sticks in order to make the jumping pole? Oh, we do. Vaulting pole. Dude, I've never tried pole vaulting in real life like they do in track meets. But that seems like one of the most intense sports ever. It seems like if you're able to do it, it's like a bunch of fun, but also kind of dangerous. But I also live for the danger. They call me danger. Raw danger. All right, Blathers, you ready for a bunch of bugs? Surprised he doesn't like eat them. Please let me know if you have any items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help who? I have a lot to donate, my friend. Marvelous! Please let allow me to donate multiple things at once. He does. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna give me the horror, the repugnance. Good heavens! I must maintain my composure. <clears throat> I'm gonna beg your pardon, bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's so much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Uh, sure. Tell me more. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> the citrus longhorn beetle is a putrid pest and a grave threat to trees. Whew, it's true. Adults possess powerful jaws and use them to chomp through hard wood and plant fibers with ease. The little larvae are no better, boring bullet-like holes in innocent trees with gusto. Citrus trees especially. Voracious and vile indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care. <laughs> By the way, I wonder if you have anything else you would like to donate. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he gives like little descriptions of every single bug and like thing you donate in the game. I don't think I want to read the descriptions now. I'm pretty sure when he puts them in the exhibits, we can read about the information then. So later I'll have like an episode where we go and just like read all the little museum exhibits because that would take a long time to do in this episode. Um, no thanks. We'll just save it for later. I wanna rock. I wanna rock. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting the iron nuggets. We need 30 iron nuggets, 30 softwood, hardwood, and regular wood. So we're just gonna keep on collecting. Call me Hector the Collector, because I'm going to your sector and steal everything in my path like Hannibal Lector. Oh, some more free money. That reminds me. Oh wait, we should have had a sapling in our inventory. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to plant a tree here. That's unfortunate. No money tree today. And also, oh, message in a bottle. I need to make sure to check the beach every day for that. Okay, there it is. I need to see if there's anything here. I'm so curious. I got a manila clam. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. This could be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Okay. Apparently I can think of my own DIY recipes now too. Okay, we don't have much inventory space, but I knew this was gonna be something. I was like, I saw that little burrowing spot. Can't sneak past me. Is it Manila the name of like the biggest city in the Philippines? I really wanna visit that place someday. I love rock and roll. So put another bell in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. So put another diamond dance with me. Yeah, that is another large sum of money. Whew. 41,000. We're gonna definitely- we might actually get to a point where we can almost pay back our next loan this episode. We're going at a pretty decent pace, not gonna lie. <laughs> pretty proud. Ugh. I wish it was easier to refill holes. I wish there was like a button you could press where he would just like automatically walk up to any open hole and fill it. Because sometimes it's hard to like line yourself up perfectly. Okay, we don't have much space to work with. Let's go ahead and read this message. I had a moment of clarity during a runner's high and came up with the absolute coolest DIY idea. I'd kind of like to keep it a secret, but I'm gonna trust you. Shh. And now we're secret DIY buds. <gasps> Yo, it's from our boy Puss in Boots. Or wait, or is it Boots from Dora the Explorer? <laughs> Come on, Dora. Vaminos. We learn how to make a leaf? What? What are we gonna do with that? <laughs> oh, 
okay. Alright, so I just cut down a tree and now I'm gonna take a picture of myself sitting down here because we have some McMile Plus achievements that require this. And, oh, well, we can pan the camera. What else can we do? One of my friends, Stephen George, found a way to change like the focus so you can have like a depth of field to your photos, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I'm just gonna take a regular photo like that. Okay, I should get quite a few Nook Plus miles from that. Ooh, yeah, we've done three of them already. Give them to Papa. But yeah, so anyways, I'm really excited that this game is selling really well and that I decided to do a series on it because if it's getting the type of sales that these articles are claiming, which I'm sure they're not lying to us, and that means there's going to be a large audience for Animal Crossing. So because of that, I'm going to continue making awesome Animal Crossing content to take advantage of the fact that this game is popping off and the fact that I love this game with a passion and that I want to make entertaining content with it. I would have like done a Let's Play of an Animal Crossing game like much earlier in my life, but I kind of wanted to wait for a newer version of the game to come out because if I would have played like one of the older versions, it kind of probably would have gotten outdated because like the last one was for the 3DS and I didn't really want to do a Let's Play for a 3DS game. And I didn't want to do a Let's Play of City Folks. And yeah, the reason I didn't ever Let's Play the original Animal Crossing game is because it was a pretty old game. I streamed it a few times just to like kind of play it for my viewers, but apart from that, I didn't really see a point in doing a Let's Play, but since this game is new and they're like gonna be updating it and stuff, and I'm sure gonna be releasing like DLC and whatnot, I just wanna document my experience with this game because out of any game out there, I feel like this is one of the most unique games to document because every single person has a unique experience. So no matter what playthrough you watch, you know it's not gonna be the same as somebody else's. Maybe the first few episodes, but apart from that, not really. All right, just need six more donations, which we're definitely gonna find. Let's go get some fossils on the other side of the river now, because I've already hit all the rocks we possibly can. How many iron nuggets are we away? Yeah, 17, we need 13 more iron nuggets. So we can find like four more rocks, we should be good, which I'm almost positive we're gonna find on the other side of the river. All right, so let's bring out the pole. And I'm gonna go sell a few things to Nick real fast, that way we can make sure to have enough inventory space. Alright, another 2,000 bells in the pocket. Cool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check this machine real fast so I don't forget. Because I want to get my daily points. 80 miles. Alright, ooh, we can get a book. Take a look, it's in a book. It's reading rainbow. Hose. I got hose. Calling. Oh my god, I totally called it last episode. I said... If next episode there's a Bonjour t-shirt, then I would, I didn't say I would do anything, but pff, I called it. <laughs> Can't believe it. I kind of want sweatpants, but I don't want green sweatpants. All right, nothing too interesting today. All right, are you guys ready to go explore the great unknown? <laughs> well, that was fun. First thing we're going to do is bully a rock until he gives us all of his money. <laughs> Cough it up, big guy. Whoa, he's giving us all the iron nuggets. Wow, what a friendly rock. How many is that? Is that seven? Or is that six? That almost puts us there. And I think we're on the little island right now, aren't we? We are. This is where I wanted to put my house. Is it too late to move it? Surely not. If I could put my house on this little island, that's where I would prefer it to be. Oh, and there's a waterfall. We haven't seen a waterfall yet. Okay, I have way too many items. <laughs> Alright, it's our first little butthole in the ground. Reminds me of the Walmart logo, which also looks like a butthole. Don't ask me why I see buttholes and things. It's just how my brain works. Alright, there's our first fossil. Nice. Of course we get an achievement for doing that. 
There's probably gonna be a lot of these, and we don't have the inventory space for very many, but we'll get as many as possible. Is this a new type of butterfly? I don't know if I've caught this one yet. Is this a zebra? Or a zebra butterfly? Yes! A paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? Who puts kites on toast? Hmm. Nintendo. Explain. Explain yourself. Nintendo, explain yourself. Who put a newspaper on toast? So are we not going to be able to climb up to the new section? It's weird how they've like segmented off portions of the island for the game. So like we can come up to this back section now, but we don't have a way to climb up the island. It's a lot of seashells though. We're going to be able to get a lot of money by the end of this episode. Alright, let's jump over this way. The waterfalls look so nice. I can't wait to place my own waterfalls. Anything over here? Here we are. So I saw a rumor that there wasn't any gyroids slash gyroids in this game. Is that true? I really want to know. So if that's the case, that's going to be really unfortunate because those are like one of my favorite items in the game. If they don't exist now, maybe they'll add them in an update later. I could totally see them doing that because they're in this new DLC phase. The game doesn't need to include 100% of its items as soon as it comes out nowadays. And that's probably one of the things I'm most excited about with this game is the fact that there's so much they could add with DLC and like little updates and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure they're going to sprinkle in tons of little Easter eggs. Oh crap. I didn't mean to cut down the tree. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Wrong axe. Got to use the flimsy one. Are there any more rocks over here apart from that one that I hit? I'm not seeing any. Whee! Let's go. Can I use the pole to climb up? <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. Oh wait, yeah, we can still explore this like whole little section on the east side of the island. There is a lot of space over here. <laughs> okay, this island is much larger than I thought. With all the combined space, this thing is going to be huge. I totally understand why they're only giving it to us in small sections, or else it would be very overwhelming to have like this whole entire thing at once. Is there really no rocks on this side of the island apart from that one rock? Holding out on me. We got another fossil though. Dig it, dig a hole. Look, I dig up a fossil. But I can't carry anything else. Oh no, swap it. Swap and shop. Yeah, let's get rid of this little piece of clay. <laughs> get back in there. Did he really rebury it? Why? I'm gonna get tricked by that later on and just know it. I'm totally gonna forget. Can we walk in the back side of the island? No. All right, well, let's go give all these fossils to bladders. And I really hope we can find a few more iron nuggets this episode because I really want to upgrade Nook's shop, but it's looking like we might not be that lucky today. I think I've already hit all the rocks, unless I'm missing one, but I doubt I'm going to be able to find seven more iron nuggets from one rock. So we'll see what happens. All right, bladders, my boy, I got some fossils for you. And I got a butterfly. So is he gonna decipher what these fossils are right now? Ah! Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must access your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo -hoo. After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be a right Petra wing. Okay, so he's a lot smarter in this game. He's a little bit of a paleontologist now. He's able to decipher what these fossils are himself without having to send them to the... Whoever he sent them to in the GameCube version. I don't know what it was. It was just like the archaeology exhibit or something. Um, I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Yes. And then if you find a duplicate of a fossil, you want to sell it to Nook because they sell for a lot of money. Probably the most expensive item in the game. Um, nah, I'm busy right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad telling him I don't want to see the information. Because I personally do, but I just know for the Let's Play that it would be a little bit repetitive. But like I said, in a future episode, go and like read all of them at once. But doing it right now just isn't the most entertaining. How come I can't give him the other fossils? I wasn't reading properly, but was there a reason? Can I only give him one a day? Oh, so he has to assess the fossils now before I'm able to donate them. That confused me. Oh, but we can do all of them at once. Cool. He's gonna go speedy Gonzalez on this. 
Now we should be able to donate them. What do we got? We found a Mega Cero skull, a Archelon tail, and a Dimetrodon skull. I haven't heard of any of these dinosaurs. I'm probably gonna learn a lot about dinosaurs through this Let's Play though. <laughs> Oh, we only need one more donation. Let's go, like, catch a fish or something. That's all we need to do. Can't believe we did all of these requirements so quickly. But I guess we had a lot of <laughs> specimens saved up. I saw some pictures on Twitter that were ten times crazier than what I did, though. Like, some people <laughs> had, like, a hundred fish ready for blathers by the time he got into the town. I did not prepare that much just because I thought that was a bit overkill and that joke had already been done, so I didn't want to do it myself. But I thought it was hilarious that people did that. But what is this on here? Is that a bug? It looks like larva. Can I catch that? I can. Yes! I caught a wharf roach. The water loving roach has no peer. Ew, I don't want a roach. Not my net! My net! All good. Let's catch this fish too. We haven't caught fish in a while. Oh, do I not even have a fishing pole? I don't. Guess we're not catching a fish. Fortunately, we have this bug, so let's give Blathers the last bug. It's the final insect. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, would you like to learn about the specimen? No, I just want you to make a museum for me, boy. Any hoot? My sincerest thanks for your donation. Hmm, I do believe this means. Yes, huzzah, hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I am at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we could reach our donation goal. On this, my very first day in the island. The generosity that made this possible, the passion. I am humbled by the spirit of Exuma. Now we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my. I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do, hootie hoo. Thank you so much very much, Toucans. And he's not making us provide all of the building materials as well. Thank God. <laughs> that would have sucked. So we're already not going to be able to do it for Nook. So that would have just been like a low blow in my opinion. Not the lowest of blows, but a fairly low blow. So let's go ahead and collect some seashells as well because these dudes sell for a lot. Oh! The hole stays open even after you dig it up. Okay. I'm surprised the glowing even stays open. Let's go ahead and buy another sapling so we can plant it in the hole. And I forget how much money you get back. Oh wait, are you supposed to plant a sapling in the hole, or are you supposed to plant money in the hole? We might need to rebury the bag of money instead of the sapling, if I remember correctly. But maybe I'm wrong. Unfortunately, we don't have a bag of money. Unless... Am I able to, like, pull a bag out of this? Oh, I can. All right, instead of planting the sapling, I'm gonna try planting the bells instead. Let's see what happens. It turned into a tree, so... We're gonna find out. I planted a sapling in a golden hole, and I planted bells in a golden hole, so... We're about to find out the ability of the golden holes. sell all these seashells that I got and I'm gonna sell some weeds and I think that's it I guess I can sell any extra wood that I have because we only need 30 of each all right how much are you gonna give me Timbo not bad I need to spend some money as well let's see how many points we get all right, sell 20 clumps of weeds we have 69,000 oh yeah Bonafide Bowden Finder. <laughs> you know I'm trying to find that bone. Congratulations on finding your first fossil. Of course, you'll need some Nook Miles to commemorate the occasion, but don't celebrate too hard. There's more fossils to dig up. I'm also going to do a couple more DIY projects because we'll get some points for doing that. Let's craft. Let's make a birdhouse. I have a toucan after all. But yeah, so today's comic question of the day is how many copies of Animal Crossing New Horizons do you think will be sold worldwide within the first like three to four months? My guess is 12 million copies. 
I think it's gonna get up there pretty high. But in the comments below, leave your predictions. And in a few months, let's see how close we were able to get. There's the butterfly I need. Don't you dare miss it, come on. Thankfully, the butterflies are pretty forgiving if you miss them. So we got some points just for doing that as well. <laughs> points on points on points. Thank you. What is this one? Grow a fruit tree, catch fish. These are all so easy. Getting some points for making some DIY furniture. Just passed 8,000 points. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my house for a moment. Let's go place down a few more of our items that we have. It looks so much nicer over here now that there's not a bunch of just random <laughs> fish tanks surrounding the home. It's much cleaner. Should probably plant some more flowers. Do I want to put my furniture inside or outside? So I'll place the blocks in here. I don't really care about those. I don't know why I'm just like, I'm just placing every item I own in the house for right now because I don't own that much. We'll get more picky in the future. I'm going to place my birdhouse outside though. I'm so happy about the prospect of placing furniture outside. Like it's, that's such a cool feature. If you've never played this series before, you don't know how revolutionary it is that you can do this. It's gonna make this game raise up to a whole new level. Oh, that looks really good, actually. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with my decision. Okay, we'll get some for spending 5,000 bells. Is that worth it? <laughs> I'm not sure if there's like 5,000 bells worth of merchandise I even want to buy at the shop. The only item it had to buy was a director's chair and I don't really want that. I feel like we're almost to the point where we're kind of running out of things to do today. I mean, technically, I think there's like a lot of stuff we could do if we decided to go and do like all the Nook achievements. But like I said, I'm limiting myself each day to how much I play so I can have a natural progression. Because this game is really nice because of the fact that everybody plays it differently. Some people like to time skip and technically cheat to play the game more quickly and to have a lot more items as quick as possible. But I enjoy this game more if I play it just a little bit each day and just watch a slow, natural progression. Let's swap it out. Um, let's get rid of this butterfly. One more bug to cement the episode. This was definitely the Blathers episode. That's what I'll even name it. The Blathers episode. <laughs> Museum construction is about to begin and thus I cannot accept new donations at this time. However, Requests for fossil appraisals are still most welcome. Well, never mind. I guess we're not giving him this last bug. He's gonna have to wait. All right, selling so all our butterflies. Another 1,200 bells. Okay, let's go ahead and look at his shop one more time just to make sure there's not some stuff we want to buy to meet that 5,000 bell achievement. Yeah, so a director's chair. I don't really want that. Unless we bought just like a bunch of flowers. I don't think there's anything really for us to do. Can we buy 10 saplings instead of one? I guess if we bought saplings in bulk, we would work. So let's go ahead and just stock up on saplings, I guess. And flowers. And that should be 5,000 bells. I'm gonna go ahead and construct another fishing rod so we can start catching fish. We're getting two new forms of miles. Wait, how much is this going to give us? If it gives us 500, then we're going to get even more. Okay, seems like that's pretty much everything for us to do right now. Alright, and with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here because we have accomplished all of the most major tasks today. But in the next episode, we will finally <laughs> upgrade Nook's shop. At least I hope, I pray that we finally upgrade Nook's shop. And we should be able to see the completed museum, which I cannot wait to see. It's going to be so beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it does help me out quite a bit. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I post new videos on the channel. I'm going to be doing lots of fun projects in the near future. Let's go ahead and rest in our hammock and go to bed. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time. Bye.